Welcome to Lobster Magnets Review the <laughs> Channel Review. I'm here with my buddy Goro Gregoro. Hey. And Zabul, who is in a one piece fueled nightmare of leaking showers that's I'm not doing this again. You can just edit it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Fix it in post. You know what? Actually just include that part. I'm not gonna explain oh myself. My God. We should just do a whole bunch of these. <laughs> Uh, whole bunch uh, okay, of so what did you guys think of the, uh, whatchamacallit, the uh, opening, the very dramatic opening page where Bartolomeo declares war on the red hair pirates? Oh, that was, uh, <laughs> that was fucking badass. <laughs> he's like, fuck, it doesn't matter, Luffy's gonna be the pirate king, and he's like, <laughs> burns the flag, which, as we know in the real world, in the One Piece world, it has, like, a really strong connotations, and, and it's really funny, Bartolomeo's like, oh, look at the One Piece, you, you, look, look at the fucking like, I'm selling, hat. uh, straw hat stickers right here. Yeah, yeah, well, while, while he's doing, like, this, this act that, like, launches wars, and, you know, it's basically what the straw hats did when they launched war against the world government, it's what we do I, here. I'll be honest here. Bartholomeo is the underling that Luffy deserves. Yeah. <laughs> he really like, is. He doesn't deserve competent allies. He, he just deserves this. Okay? <laughs> Finally, someone else will make the problems for him that he makes for literally everyone else by accident. <laughs> That, that, that is, like, probably the best analysis I've ever heard of Bartolomeo, especially in his, <laughs> this fucking story arc, and why he, he's the follower Luffy deserves. Versus, like, you know, instead of Zoro and everyone else who's, like, you know, marginally more competent than he is. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, it, honestly, everyone on his fucking crew should be that guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still just waiting to the point where, like, the fat guy come, who's always, like, eating sticks of meat on, like, bones just, like, comes up and, like, somehow becomes friends with Bartolomeo and then they start singing and dancing. <laughs> <laughs> like, like that's how I see this ending. Like, despite the fact that it looks kind of, like, dark right now, like, I, I cannot see any other way than then, like, Bartolomeo having, like, a big feast with, like, some, like, lowly member of the, uh, uh, you know, red, ha red, red hair pirates. I hope that's yeah. the case. Because, uh, you know, burning the, the flag of a young cow is a pretty big deal. But Red Hair is, like, such good buddies with Luffy. I feel like he might even overlook that. Yeah, th that's not the, although that would still be amazing, though, if we see Shanks in, like, a fucking, like, cover story. Yeah. Yeah, that that would be entertaining. I mean, have Just, we seen any of the other Yonko and cover stories before? No, no, they're, they're they're like too big for like cover stories. I was gonna like, say like well, honestly, if I had to pick anyone who was too, who probably would have been in a cover story, it would have been fucking Big Mom. <laughs> it just would have been like like Waffles fucking <laughs> gourmet adventure bullshit. <laughs> and again, like, this kind of bleeds back. Or, sorry, go ahead. Well, I was going to think, like, the closest maybe, like, NL, although they're not Yanko level, but, like, NL or Crocodile when they're cover stories. And I still love Crocodiles, where it's like he'd rather be in prison than, like, be stuck with the Burroughs works people who he hates so much. <laughs> I mean, this, this, this honestly just kind of bleeds back into um, the chapter where, again, I'm going to say it, I am really surprised how in control mom seems just how in control she is of her blinding food rage that I, I really just kind of imagined more of like 28 days later but food related yeah she, she does seem to be very cognizant and like you know kind of like managing herself to a far more sophisticated degree than yeah, you'd expect for like something who just be like I want to eat She's really talky about this, and I, I'm I'm kind of disappointed about it. I just wanted to see blind cannibalistic fury. <laughs> I'm I'm kind of happy about it though, because uh, I mean, for a young cow to go like completely blind and like not very uh, not very uh, what's the word I'm what? looking for, like. In control, aware, in cognition. Yeah, cognition. Yeah, but I mean, that's what she does. That's her thing. She eats people. 
Yeah, she she eats people and she goes out of food rage versus like, you know, riding on her cloud and you know, kind of like being in much more control than you'd expect. Yeah. Although, so, yeah. Oh, sorry, you're gonna say something. So, yeah, I, I'm I'm a little disappointed that she just hasn't like murdered a whole bunch of people and <laughs> cannibalized them. Yeah, I, I definitely want her to eat something or someone. I, I still was like rooting for her to like eat her family. That's, that's, <laughs> uh, that's what yeah, I that wanted. Is, that is really where I wanted that to go. Is her to just like rip her own? Because for fuck's sake, that seems to be what happened in her backstory. I'm just amazed. Like, where did she get this extra control from? <laughs> I guess the, the, like the she ate her entire cake. fucking family. It's like what? What the fuck? Well, actually, that brings up a good question. Like pudding and chiffron. Is there like a cake that they're flying with in, in that carpet? No, I don't think so. Not yet. I think they're like, gonna make it somehow on the way. I thought that they were gonna like make it, um, you know, in Capone's, you know, castle, and then bring it to Big Mom. Yeah. But oh, then, yeah, this probably makes more sense, doesn't it? But there, there's no cake, right? And there's no, like, receptacle for them to hold cake. No. And, like, it needed to be a pretty big cake, too, to satisfy a big mom. Which, of course, ties into, the, like, the, the big the big million-dollar question. And, and we're doing a pool right now. Is, you know, Pudding has gone back to Yandere mode. You know, is she going to be, like, get a redemption, or is she just going to go crazy? Where, where's it going to go? The dice is going to go. Where, 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 place your bets. Place your bets. Place your bets. Who, who's like, going to win? I, I know what I want to happen, <laughs> even though I fucking hate her, and I'm still pissed that she, this is even happening. I mean, I like her to just go up the fucking deep end into full-blown Yandere rage mode, as opposed to, like, suddenly becoming like a secondary boa handcock because we just really only need one of those in a series um, <laughs> like what, what she just like chases Sanji to like looking to murder him and like the straw hat pirates yeah yeah, yeah that, that, is, that is my preference for what would happen here again I, I'm still holding out a vain hope that Sanji just kicks her in the face at some point <laughs> <laughs> like maybe after she like tries to attack Nami or uh Robin in a blind, jealous fury or something. Like she, she, she's gonna have to work really, really, really hard for me to get for me to believe that um, heel face turn that she's she's been doing. And I don't know. Oda seems to be waffling on it, so I I, I have hope. Yeah, he, he definitely does not seem committed either way. He keeps on going back and forth. I, yeah, I think especially like, that last panel, right, with uh, putting with that weird what did she say at the end uh what did she say i'm gonna look it up real quick well it's like sanji my dear <laughs> i see you when she's got like lovey-dovey faces oh, but she's got she's like that fool's right there yeah what and the... she has her evil face and she's kind of like got a gun and it's sort of like uh oh! Looks like she's gonna try oh, and here attack. Here we fucking go, guys! Here we go again! War, war, war. Why doesn't not? Although I did like that little power up that Nami got, where she like used the hyper tempo. That, that was neat. That was that, that kind of yeah. like reminded me of NL when NL would use like or NR or whatever the proper pronunciation of his name is, where he'd use like the hyper thunder. Yeah, but that wasn't like hyper thunder. That was. I mean, it's gonna be a power up if. Um... Yeah, if Zeus is like if a Zeus permanent picture, sticks picture. around, uh, then that's that's going to be an amazing power up, and I really hope he does because she deserves one. Um, yeah, she she could use yeah. one. She hasn't had gotten a solo fight in like since like CP nine, and I, yeah. I think Oda would like. It, it would be nice. I, I I really loved it when she like became a more active member of the crew, and I love that like fight in Arabasta where she was like forced to put herself in the line against the. What was it like the the, the needle like, woman or something? Yeah, she yeah had, yeah like the that, that was or something. that was pretty fucking great. Um, yeah. and I I'd like to see that more often. I, I really would. Yeah, I, I definitely think Nami's like overdue for like a one on one fight, and it would be nice to like see her like use her weather power. She got a new weather tact, and having like a fucking super cloud that can like you know summon the finger of God, you know, at a, <laughs> a moment's notice would be a really nice power up. Yeah. Yeah, that would be pretty fucking awesome. Plus, I mean, hey, God, that's 
that is so weird. I just she has this extending climb attack, and Zeus is this magical cloud that people ride on. Oh God, she's got a little bit of the fucking um, oh yeah, she, she's, she's the Monkey well, King thing going. Even though <laughs> she's, she's the, the last character I fucking expected to have that. <laughs> the Monkey King thing going. Well, yeah, that's what the, you know, Dragon Ball Z is very loosely based on Journey to the West, and basically Goku is like this mangified version of the Monkey King. And the right. Monkey King rides around on a Nimbus cloud, he has an extending staff, and, uh, you yeah, know... I mean, it doesn't have, well, sort of, not that extending, though. It, it can extend, it's not like, is extended, oh, that's funny, though, I wonder what, what point in Dragon Ball, like, Goku just stopped using his staff, because, like, there was a point where he's just like... <laughs> completely forgot it about like it. fucking use it anymore and kind of the same thing with um the cloud he's although he does use that longer than the fucking staff he keeps uh, the, yeah there, there's no sign of the staff in like dragon ball z but he does keep the cloud oh I'll, I'll be honest i'm a little disappointed that um that th- those two were just completely different series they 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 were totally just different enough that they should have been hmm yeah, yeah, you you could definitely say that. Uh, I'm sure there's probably an interesting in, interview in terms of like how why Akira Toriyama like shifted focus like so much. But uh, all right, we're we're losing track though. But it, it is yeah, weird yeah, that yeah. like out of all the characters, you'd think G- Luffy would get a cloud and a fucking extendo staff, <laughs> given the fact that Monkey's in his fucking name. And still, it's not completely confirmed Zeus is gonna be a part True. of the fire it, Straw Hat crew. It, it, it feels like it's a 90% temporary power-up. As much yeah. as I love the idea of, like, you know, I, I would love it to be permanent, although I can't imagine, like, this cloud just following around the thousand sunny every day. Oh, that would be pretty awesome. That that would be nice. Like, I, I'm rooting for it to happen, but, like, I, 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 I think the chance, you know, the pickings are slim. Yeah. I don't know. I, I still give it a higher percentage than I think you do, so we'll, we'll see. I guess that's another betting pool we can make. Yeah, yeah. So uh, Scott is betting for yonder Ape's pudding. I'm betting for good pudding. Uh, Greg, what do you? And Scott is betting for um, that. Like you know, Nami will get the Zeus power up. Uh, I'm betting she probably won't. Although I do want her to get it. Ooh, Ooh I don't know. I'm I'm betting. Uh... Okay. I think maybe. After all said and done, Zeus is going to go, like, into a tiny little cloud, and it's going to fall around Nami at the end of it all. Yeah, and everyone should listen to fucking Gregorio here, because he fucking picked up on that fucking Toby Madeira thing. <laughs> or <moderate> thing <laughs> before anyone else gave it any fucking credence. <laughs> So I, I, I'm always willing to, like, at least entertain his fucking crazy-ass <laughs> theories at this point. <laughs> you know, strangely enough, that sounds, like, really plausible. I, I could see that. They, they have, like, a speed dial and they put Zeus in there. Because, like, you know, I don't think Oda wants to draw a fucking, like, cloud following around the Thousand Sunny. <laughs> exactly. It's not going to be a massive cloud, but it'll be, like, uh, it could oh, be, like, God, a tiny... A secondary mascot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> oh and god, then, yeah, yeah. It, it'll, it'll, it'll like take some of the mascotting duties off of Chopper every once in a while. You can give the guy a little bit of a break. Well, speaking of Chopper, though, what do you the guys think of like poor Brook and Chopper fighting Lickety Lick Lick guy and fucking Dog you know, the most underappreciated, hardworking member of Big Mom's, you know, everyone's favorite badass uh, Dog Tooth. Uh. uh. I, I feel- just want to see Dog Tooth kick the shit out of someone. <laughs> like yeah. I just want a couple of like badass fifth, fist of the North Star moments with fucking jelly beans. <laughs> <laughs> you know the funny thing is though, I, I predict I feel like Chopper and Brook might stand a, a chance against the fucking like lick lickety guy because what the fuck does he do? He, he licks shit and makes like candy walls. I forget what his power was. Yeah, I mean he's he's just kind of terrible. I kind of hate him. <laughs> he doesn't yeah. even have he's the appeal like... of Dogtooth, where he's fucking at odds with the rest of the fucking series art that he's entertaining. <laughs> it's just weird and kind of feels like yet another um, clown Caesar archetype, or that weird fucking 
uh, swamp swamp fruit user. They're just like, oh, for God's sake. <laughs> Please, someone just kick him in the nuts so we can move on. <laughs> yeah, he does have this weird, creepy pedo vibe. I mean, I wouldn't say uh, he definitely like does fit like the lines of like um, you know the weird character designs we've seen amongst Big Mom's children. But you know, I think it's the fact that he's got that tongue out that's out all the time that gives him that sort of like creepy vibe. Yeah, and it's just sort of like you don't feel like that much of a threat. It's just someone punch him in the face so we can like. <laughs> you know. yes. He's kind of like a character you you kind of enjoy to despise, I think. Not he's, really, because he hasn't really done much to like make yeah, you want to like, despise him. But it's like that's, a, yeah, that's exactly it. But he's like a low level despicable character. You you like to despise be him because he seems so low level and. No, you just you just look at him and you're like, oh man, I hope you're not in too many more panels. Like, <laughs> what, 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 what are you doing there? You like your tongue's hanging out. But like, you, you're like... gonna enjoy the when the fact that okay, he, he okay, gets look, the shit kicked out of him. Dothy right? was somebody you liked hating. Dothy? Okay, you, yeah, like I fucking wanted to like, I I, I wanted to see him punched in the face. Yeah, like, I, I, I don't know. Um, Press Crocodile like, was somebody like that you kind of like love to hate. Was like motherfucker, somebody kicks you in the nuts soon. Meh. <laughs> but I, I like I haven't had a really good like joke spite hate villain in a long, long time. Because mm. I mean, I he, he's like the first son, but he does feel like kind of like a joke joke yeah, villain. He isn't. Yeah, unless he like pulls out something crazy, uh, I I mostly just kind of want to just kind of want him to die. Well, yeah. it's kind of like it's funny though when you think about it. Vito's got like that, you know, uh, Capone's Vito guy. He's got like the tongue hanging out. He's got a similar sort of gimmick, uh, but like I feel like he's more likable because one, he's a little bit more in tune with like the culture of like the One Piece universe. Uh, he, he's kind of polite, even if he is a little bit creepy, and, and you know, he, he seems like he he, he knows shit. Like, I love yeah. that scene where he, like, talks about, like, how the Germa 66 are, like, featured in this, like, propaganda cartoon in newspapers. And he's like, ow, I used to love And it doesn't dress that. like the candy cane man from, like, Candyland. Uh, <sighs> yes, thank you, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, I think um, Pudding, Pudding is going, I, I don't know, she's... It's interesting. I want to see what happens with Pudding. Like, what? how is she... What is that face she's making? She's like... Is she well, surprised... We're, we're supposed to be led to think it's an evil face that she wants revenge against Sanji. And the fact that she doesn't have, like, a cake with Shifron, like, makes you lead that, like... But then again, why would Shifron, like, choose to go with her? Because didn't she convince him to, like, save Sanji? And that was the reason why? Yeah, I don't know what the hell's going on. It, she's just fucking weird <laughs> yeah they're, they're, i'm getting a little bit of arc fatigue where it was like there are like a lot of really good points to like sort of end this off with a bow chain but then now it's kind of like being extended and i'm like getting a little annoyed at Oda. and it's like okay you had a great thing going with this arc this was like really nice in and out let, 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 yeah, let's please, wrap things please up here. just yeah the, the, the best way to stop this would have been when um beige just kind of booked it the fuck out everybody else on the ship run like a bitch yeah, and that, that, that's while in the business. background, Big Mom just eats literally everyone. Uh, don't that would have been a good end point. Don't you that think there should perfect. be like some sort of climax, like between Sanji and Pudding? Like, I don't know, I don't know what that climax should be at this moment, but I feel like there should be like some, you know, conclusive thing that happens between Sanji and Pudding after all this has happened. Like I said, I I personally want her want to see her kicked in the face, but you know whatever. <laughs> I don't think you're getting that. Well, what I of was of course suspected... I'm not fucking getting it, Isaac. Of course I'm not fucking getting it. I'm never gonna get that. I will never ever get to see her kicked in the face, even though she's a weird mind raping monster that everyone should hate. Uh, I feel like she's uh... a bad person. She's an objectively bad person. <laughs> To swap the genders, and suddenly she is just a monster that everyone would find terrifying. <laughs> Be like Griffith or something. She basically is Griffith. <laughs> Especially if she goes yandere. She's basically fucking gender swapped Griffith at this fucking point. I feel like Griffith doesn't even um, mind rape people. 
I mean, he I he mean, can regular be regular people. So he can be casual. Charismatic and manipulate people in some ways, but he doesn't mind rapes. <laughs> no, he just regular rapes people. Remember? <laughs> <laughs> All right, fair, fair point. Yeah, yeah. Fair point. Just, just fucking throwing that the fuck out there. <laughs> They're both bad people. Oh, okay. All right. So. <laughs> 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 this is the million dollar Buddy question. Buddy did nothing and wrong. This is the million dollar question for me. Like, what is going to happen between Sanji and Puddy? Like, by the well, end of this arc, it goes one of two directions. Either like, you know, Sanji says that like, you know, Pudding does some sort of mechanism that allows them to escape, uh, which is what, what I always felt like I was predicting. And then she like has a tearful farewell, or maybe she does some sort of like final yandere thing. Uh, that would be super lame, though. She like you know saves Sanji and then she like stabs him. Yeah, I I think it's like that would be so fucking weird. I I God, I hate her. I hate <laughs> her so much. That's like uh, man, I don't, I I honestly don't know what would happen. Like I I don't know what would be like the most appropriate thing to like. To end her character arc right now. I was kind of, like, hoping they'd just, like, leave her behind. And then, like, you know, I, I would have been happy for her just, like, looking sad as, like, Sanji runs off with Nami. And then, you know, that's it. That's all we needed. Goodbye. Yeah. That's interesting. I mean, if we're not going to do this, I guess that works. But, yeah. Yeah. So, what would you guys rate this chapter? What score would you give? Uh. Hmm. Mm. I'd say uh, an eight. I liked uh, some of the stuff with Nami and uh, throwing down Zeus into uh, into Big Mom and her crew. Like that was yeah, because well, dramatic. we know Big Mom's gonna survive. <laughs> Big Mom, of course, is gonna survive. Jimbe being on top of shit, like staying Although together. Although I have to say, uh, I would retroactively give this fucking chapter like um, a nine if that's how. If that's how they escaped, and like that, that just knocked her ass out. That would be pretty badass. If like Nami could, that would be a big win for Mommy for Nami. Oh yeah, I, I that that would retroactively just fucking win the chapter for me. I I, I can't see that happening. I, I still see Big Mom no. like you know being I, like she's been built up too much to just have a little thunder stopper. Oh yeah. my but, god! What if after Pudding makes the cake, like. They throw the cake at Pudding's face afterwards. I don't see how that uh, would happen, because, like, Big Mom yeah. has to eat the cake. Okay. Yeah. I'm trying to think um, of, like, what would be, like, really great thematic kind of I thing. mean, it wouldn't be as great as um, Sanji getting, like, an actual character arc and, like, kicking her in the face, but I, I would accept, I guess, as, like, at least entertaining... If they make the fucking cake and pudding accidentally drops it in front of Big Bomb. <laughs> <laughs> that that would be poetic justice. <laughs> if like I mean, Big I would Bomb take that. eats the cake and pudding. That. Yes. I would love that if she like tries to stab Sanji and then M Big Mom eats her because she has the cake. <laughs> uh, I don't think Oda is like <clears throat> willing to go that dark, but I, I would love that. Oh, oh, what if Pudding, okay, what if Pudding is, like, running towards Straw Hat Crew, like, I made the cake, I'm here to save you, Sanji, and then Big Mom just, like, looming over her, about to eat her, and just eats her. I, I, I'd like that, I could accept that. Scott, yeah. would, would that be good enough for you? I guess, I mean, <laughs> I, I still kind of, again, I still really am irritated Sanji got, um, kind of screwed out of, like, character growth there, but whatever. I guess I'd accept that. It's probably uh, the we'll closest thing to anything's actually going to happen, so... I'll yeah, I, I agree with your score, Greg. I think it's definitely an eight chapter. Like, there's some, some decent stuff, but, you know, there's definitely some niggling things where it's like, oh my god, you're flip-flopping with pudding again, and there's this lingering sensation where it's like, okay, let's end it. But, I, you know, I do love the possibility of Nami getting a I feel hyper like mega power-up. The pudding thing, yeah. like, you know, it's got me interested. And, like, I want to see what happens with that. So, you know, just, uh, it's just a neat thing, but it's also really confusing, yeah.
So, Zavul, what would you rate? What's your score? Mm. God. Oh, God. I don't know. Like 7.85 or something. Yeah, like, that, that's it, fair. Nothing, again, I am kind of getting arc fatigue. Enough. Ha- not enough has happened in this chapter for me to be really, really excited about anything. But hey, I'm I'm this is still better than a lot of other shit out there. <laughs> and I am still kind of waiting, hopefully, to see whether or not pudding turns out into turns into a Yandere monster. <laughs> yeah. It's funny comparing good. her there's this like character who I think is gonna once she gets in the anime and My Hero Academia is gonna become a breakup character and she's like this yandere schoolgirl who's like has a knife and is always stabbing and she's got this vampire thing and, and like she's designed to be more like a fun yandere character and you know once she gets animated the cosplay and the fan art's gonna be everywhere. Oh God. <laughs> okay. So, so just just you wait. Maybe Pudding will be with her at every convention you see. We'll we'll, we'll have to wait and see. So, all right, guys, what what do you think would be the most appropriate thing to plug with this? Hmm. Mm. How about how to bake a cake? No, we did that before, right? Baking cakes. Um. We could we could maybe have like a cake book, like a, a cake cookbook. Oh, what about something with yandere's? Oh, I was gonna suggest um, ACDC's The Razor Edge, but I feel like that's a little too like. Yeah, I'm I'm kind of like out there because that that is the album that Thunderstruck is on. Oh, Thunderstruck! You be- yeah, but that that's a little too much of a stretch. Wait, okay. wait, wait, wait. I got this, like, Yandere Awesome Kid Backpack School Bag School Bag for Child. <laughs> well, oh, God. Okay, let's... What, what, what did you send me? Let's, let's, what, let's see it. Here. It's like one of those things that you, you don't think would be real, but it, it's real. So, so there, there. Enjoy that. I, I think this is, this is it. What the hell is this? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! God, it's I'm just imagining so like school what? bag for child. Yonder awesome kid bag. That school bag, school bag for child. T h i r l d child. I um, okay, okay, <laughs> yeah. Let's let's shill that. <laughs> Okay, so go buy your kid and child's like awkward backpack, which will be confiscated by any school because even if you could like probably get away with it because like nobody out you know you know, nobody no normie knows what a yandere is, but it's still got a fucking knife. So and there's no <laughs> way in our culture that like a kid with a fucking knife and a backpack like, like, God, I just see this, like, this, this fucking otaku parent trying to explain to, like, the, the PTA or, like, the fucking, you know, <laughs> teachers association. Well, well it's, it's a very intri- intricate part of, um, you know, Japanese culture. And you know what? <laughs> Th- that kid is an Iron Man backpack. And Iron Man has, like, we missiles killed. and laser guns. Those are guns. Th- those are weapons. What, why is Iron Man allowed in the school? <laughs> but yet my, my, my little girl's, sweet little girl's yandere backpack is considered to be a taboo thing. Sir, we're not taking the backpack from her for the design. We're, we're taking the backpack from her because she stabbed another child in the lunchroom. <laughs> she's just expressing herself. Don't you know? That's how she shows you her love. You know, <laughs> back in the day, girls would push it and call them meanie and yucky. And, and you know, today's internet culture, it's all about the stabbing. <laughs> I, 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 I'm sorry, but like I, I'm not going to like limit my daughter's interests. Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, guys. Dwarfs. So yeah, so, yeah. Buy, buy this backpack to make sure your child is completely able to express themselves in the form of stabbing other people. Uh, you know, just like because that but, they like them. Yeah, because yeah. that is what the anime. That is what the anime girls do. We should all model all of our normal real life behavior on anime girls because it's you know, just common sense, man. Just, you know, common sense. 
All right, so thank you for watching this review and listening to us talk about uh, our favorite little uh, One Piece. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Have a good one. And remember, lobsters and tennis, don't you grab it. Lobsters made